Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me. I'm coming to you today from my Chromebook with a first look at Google's cursive app. This is only for Chromebooks. It will work best on Chromebooks. It won't really work on other devices. So this is cursive. It lives at cursive.apps.chrome. This is the editor. There are There's a home button right here, but let's look at the two pens. So there's a one, a regular pen right here. So that's the regular pen. I'll hit the undo button. Then there's also a highlighter. And with that highlighter, you get multi the, you know, what, what is that? 10 colors, 12 colors. Same for the pen. You get that many. Oh, actually for the pen, you actually get more. I hadn't noticed that. Look at that nice purple color right there. With the pen, there's three thicknesses. I always go with the thickest. Uh, the thinnest is very, very thin. Let's just use that eraser right now. You see it, it erases whole bits. It doesn't erase you know, every little image that you put on there, or drawing that you put on, it'll race in whole. There is a make space. So if I, I want to make space like here, I can do that. Um, I can also draw a line to do that. I'll show you that shortly. And there's also an add an image. So we can add an image. And there we go. And there's the image. And we can three dot either duplicate it or delete it. I'll just delete it real quick. Now, a couple things that they at Google are showing you as far as tricks when you just scribble so you don't even need the buttons. First one, to delete, they want you to scribble. Let me scribble. And if you do it, yep, there it worked. It flashes blue, and then you can then delete by tapping on the blue thing that you scribbled. Um, you can draw a circle to select, so let's just do that real quick. So let me draw this circle. And now if I, oh, you gotta tap it. It's really kind of tricky. So I'll do it again. I'll tap and now I can move. It's a little tricky, three dot duplicate or delete as well. The other thing you can do is you can draw a line to add a space. It's that button above, but we'll draw this line real quick, tap. And then you can add space and you can customize that, which is a really nice feature, but again, this button up here does the same thing. All right, let's talk, look at some other buttons here. We have undo and redo right here. Right here, the three dots, we can change the background, which is great. Uh, make it a grid image, make it, I like the wide lines, as you can tell. Um, copy all the clipboard, export as PDF. Little problem here, in Google Keep, when you export a PDF and you use one of the backgrounds, the background doesn't export. Same thing happens here, watch this. I export as PDF. And let's uh, show in folder. And look at that, the background did not export. So that is a little bit of a bummer. I think this is a bit of a half-baked, like not quite ready for wide scale, but this is a nice little first look at it. You can send feedback, they give you a feature tour and you can switch to touch mode. I haven't noticed much difference between touch and stylus. I'm using a stylus, so I'll stay in stylus mode. From there, if I click on home, this is my organizer and what you can make new notebooks or new notes here with the three dots, I can edit notebook or delete notebook. The problem is, is I can't edit the names yet. So I'm hoping that they change the names, you know, that you can edit these names, save them to Google Drive. There's a lot of integrations that would lo be lovely, but that's kind of, you know, what it looks like at the home screen. Click back on here and you're back in your note. A couple other things to just keep in, in mind, One, actually really one thing here, and it's this right here, which is that this works best in portrait mode. If you have a touchscreen Chromebook, please, please, please turn it around and in portrait mode, it becomes like a digital legal pad. So that's a first look. It's got a couple kinks to work out, um, but cursive.apps.chrome, cursive exclusively for Chromebooks. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Any questions you have on this, please leave in the comments below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Thanks so much for watching.